What's up, Mountain Dew Enema Gang? Top story. In their plexiglass cage match, Trump's weird little brother Pence wiped the debate floor with weak little lady slash big scary monster radical Antifa leftist slash merciless cop Kamala Harris. Impartial ref Donald Trump said it best. And this monster that was on stage with uh, Mike Pence, who destroyed her last night, by the way, but this monster, uh, she says, no, no, there won't be fracking. There won't be this. There won't. Everything she said is a lie. Now, I think some people might think that by comparing her to a monster, Trump is signaling that he finds her scary, but he doesn't. So shut up! It is like the president's never even heard of a dog whistle. By just coming right out and slandering her as a monster, it's more difficult for me to reluctantly, yet enthusiastically, support him. Now, I noticed Harris went the whole debate without any bugs on her. Clearly, she lacks the inviting, yet brave energy of Pence, who reached across the human-insect divide and formed a special bond. That's right! Now, the Presidential Debate Commission, Division of Antifa, wants King Don's next Joe Biden slaughter to be virtual, just because Trump Trump's the world's deadliest bioweapon, but he refuses. No, I'm not going to waste my time on a virtual debate. That's not what debating's all about. You sit behind a computer and do a debate. It's ridiculous. And then they cut you off whenever they want. Not only should Trump and Biden debate in person, they should do it while handcuffed together and on the run from the law. I mean, honey, it's better in person. I mean, there's no glitching. You don't accidentally zoom yourself dropping an Omega Deuce. Just people talking in boxes, <laughs> talking about politics. I don't see how anything of that kind would be useful to the American public. Oh, exactly. Mm -hmm. Yeah. All right, let's bring in Associate Professor of Epidemiology from the Harvard School of Public Health, Dr. Bill Hannage. Doctor, I will not be stripping down my underpants, so don't even try. Delighted to make your acquaintance. Now this week in an awesome show of brotherhood, 34 White House patriots have chosen to stand with Donald J for jacked biceps by sharing his COVID diagnosis, whether they like it or not. The coronavirus outbreak has infected 34 White House staffers and other contacts in recent days, according to an internal government memo. Now doctor, let's unpack this whatever Trump's got in his lungs, we all want it, right? Uh, you really don't. The virus in question is SARS-CoV-2. While pretty much everyone who gets it is not necessarily going to get severely ill, those who do get severely ill, and that's a reasonable fraction of them, they get really ill, and a reasonable fraction of them die. So believe me, no matter whose lungs it's coming from, you really don't want it in yours. Well, I gotta say, pretty genius of Trump to ensure a number of infected people that could be perfectly fed by three six-foot party subs. I mean, the man's mind is out of control. Bonnie? I mean, honey, all I know is if I see one more fully grown man wearing a mask like a damn woman, I'm gonna scream my freaking head off. I mean, real men have fully visible faces and fully deteriorating lungs, honey. Now, some live cucks have pointed out our boy Pence was lethargic and his eye was pink and he generally looked like shit. So, Doc, please explain to our audience why Pence does not have COVID, and this is more likely a symptom of having such intense sex with Karen, that when they're done, their bed looks shipwrecked. Well, because we know the vice president is likely to have been exposed because he's among these people who was in contact with cases over the last week or so, it somewhat increases the likelihood that we might think that he might have the coronavirus himself. However, I want to be very, very clear that depends upon a test. We have to be getting tests in there. We have to be testing folks to see exactly who's sick and who isn't. Well, this to me sounds like some typical lib cuck hypocrisy. I mean, come on. Joe Biden has an eyeball that burst and they made fun of him. And now Pence has an eyeball that burst so they make fun of him too? That's hypocrisy, I think, right? Whatever, f*** it. Bonnie? I mean, let me tell you, people are saying this is COVID. Uh-uh, honey. I know pink eye when I see it. My three boys get pink eye all the time. They be picking up bird duty, but rubbing the bird's duty in each other's eyes. Oh, here's it over here. Here's it over here. Slapping the duty. I mean, I'll tell you what. Now that is an excellent point, Bonnie. Even if Pence does have the COVID schmovid, right? Trump is going to give him that good regenerata. Right? Okay. Roll the clip. I took this medicine and it was incredible. It was incredible. I, w I could have walked out the following day. 
you're going to get the same medicine. You're going to get it free. No charge. Medicare for all is socialism, except when it's this. Doc, go full Dr. Oz and tell the people how much they're going to love Trump's miracle drug. Well, I want to start by pointing out that the president's been being treated at Walter Reed, which is probably the closest we get to socialized medicine in the United States. And, you know, it's a very, very good hospital. And I'm glad that he is recognizing the amazing things that can be done there. So, so bombing Walter Reed is on the to-do list. Got it. Morgan? Democrats love to say that Trump doesn't care about small businesses. But, I mean, look, here he is giving a much-needed boost to the trillion-dollar pharmaceutical industry. You know, let me just say that I'd happily drink President Trump's blood. What better time to reveal that I am an advanced vampire LARPer who goes by the name Count Chromobine? Everyone is staring at me now, and I am very embarrassed.